properties wouldn't I recommend to buy or rent in Spain? You need to look around the areas. Um, like I said, La Mata is busy. I mean, today's market day, and we'll be going out in about 10 minutes. I won't be able to get a parking space when I come back. Um, it's extremely busy. Around November time, there's hardly anybody here. But even on market day then, it's difficult to get parking. Um, the reason I like La Mata, it's a bit like a village with tourists. It was already here, it's not a fake village. But a bit further up, there's another place where I think there's 3,000 properties for sale. Um, it's, it's, it's an extension of the tourist boom. Uh, so, well, it'd be the tourism and in property boom. Um, more property boom than anything else because uh, people bought on an investment. They didn't hear people have been coming here since probably the 50s so as such it's got a market that's retained you know it's stayed here it's it's grown but not huge um, it's also got no high rises so you've got the the fact that most buildings here are well maximum of four stories high as you can see I mean there's some right over the other end where they've put some high rises in recently new builds but at the same time the average place here is only four stories which gives it more of a community feel rather than living in a hotel and it's got life you know it's got shops it's got post offices it's got a clinic it's it's got all the infrastructure of a real town some of the other places don't even have a restaurant you know when i say not doesn't have a restaurant I mean doesn't have any shops whatsoever the restaurant would be a basic one for tourism but it they've died um, because during the property boom they're pushing properties not infrastructure and if you've lived in any big council estate outside of the U, um, UK city centres you will know that those places become dilapidated and run down quite quickly because people don't have time um, well, what do you call it? They've got too much time and not enough to do. No jobs, no, um, what do you call it? No, no opportunities. So imagine if you build a housing estate in Spain that may have road access, but has nothing else. You've got houses, no community centre, no community. No pubs, no bars, no restaurants. Um, and that's why a lot of them died when the housing boom went down the toilet. Because, quite simply, nobody wants to stay there. When you've got places like this, these are ideal for rental. Because people have been coming here since probably the 50s. It's going to stay like that. You know, that ain't going to change. You'll be on the next generations. Because the, the thing is, these places survive. Because they're real towns. Um... And that's where the difference is. It's like Torbea. Torbea is a real town. A lot of people run it down as if, like, oh, it's a bad place or something. But the fact is, it's a functioning town. That's why it will continue to develop. It will continue to grow. It's got, I don't know how many restaurants. I'd say 100 plus, um, plus everything else, shoe shops, everything. You know, it's got all that infrastructure there that will retain itself, that will stay there, that will continue to be what it is. The matter is the same, it's, you know, it's on a smaller scale, but that's what I like. But you go into some of these developments that are miles off in the distance, they're not next to the beach, they're purely housing developments and often got very limited infrastructure. Um, there's been flooding in some of them due to the lack of the um, the correct drainage for flash floods, etc. It's it was built in property boom. So those are the places to avoid. But visiting, you'll soon see where there's life and where there isn't. Um, I highly recommend La Mata, and if you want to find property in La Mata, give us an email and tell me what you're looking for, because I'm sure I can find something for you. Um, and I'll probably get a lot cheaper than you'll get from a real estate agent. <laughs> but the, the point is, this place is ideal. 
I mean, the internet's not fantastic, but everything else is. All right, thanks for watching.